welcome. And I would like to ask you if you can just share with us a little tiny bit about how Matrix Reimprinting has changed your life. It's been an amazing journey, I have to say, so far. And I feel as I'm probably only at the beginning of it, although it feels incredible already. I feel like saying put the kettle on because honestly, I could be here all day. It's night and day, the, the transformation in my life as a direct result, really, of Matrix reimprinting and Carl Dawson. So I am indebted, honestly, truly indebted to him. I was in another point in my life and I started exploring EFT again. It's funny how it just sort of comes in waves. I'd bought Carl's book, so I was doing a bit of research. And for about six months, everywhere I went, it was just, it was there, lying. Everywhere it was just popping up. So I thought, right, there's a sign here. Signed up for Carl's course and well that's you know the rest is history it's changed my life and I discovered matrix reimprinting back in 2012 after I had tried for two years I tried all of the traditional counseling and psychotherapy um for PTSD and trauma over childhood sexual abuse I literally Googled uh, EFT and Carl came up at the top. So I was like, oh, brilliant. He's in Brighton. I'm in London. So uh, it was just wonderful that it ended up being him. Best thing I ever did. And I had a wonderful GP who suggested an EFT practitioner. I got recommended to do EFT without knowing anything about what EFT or Matrix was. I decided to just put myself on a course. Oh, yes, that will do. I'll go and do a bit. Wow, my, my mind blowing, absolutely five days of mind blowing stuff, uncovering layers and layers of beliefs that I'd built up. So by taking the training, it was, um, oh gosh, I mean, it's, it's hard to put everything I felt into words, but it, it, the best way I can say it, it was absolutely a life changing weekend. Because so my life has changed so much since learning how to do matrix re-imprinting i just want everybody to know how to do it i was looking for something to help me with a fear of flying which i'd had for years and just wouldn't fly full stop so um i came across eft which was recommended to me by a hypnotherapist and my instinct was are you mad tapping on my head what's that going to do 1996 i had a car accident and developed flu afterwards and that's when i developed me and fibromyalgia which would on most days feel like i'd run a marathon like i was drunk like i had flu and i had severe joint and muscle pains some days my eyes were too painful to open them other days it was difficult to eat because my mouth was so sore so it started out with chronic illness chronic fatigue um, and what I didn't know at the time, but I understand now, like chronic trauma being at the centre of that. And the way I used to describe my life was as though somebody had asked me to climb Everest every day without an oxygen tank and concrete boots. That's what my life was like. I couldn't brush my teeth. I couldn't, oh, I just couldn't function. I didn't want to shower, wash. You know. I could never talk about it because I, I was um, sexually abused by a stranger on a ship when I was nine years old. And the trouble was, I was stuck on that ship for two weeks and I couldn't recognise who he was. So it's sort of like he ap appeared as everyone. And I'd got to a point where I was about to take my own life on a number of times because I was just so ill and just felt that I couldn't go on. I had like a, a central nervous system that was switched into fight and flight the whole time. Nobody could give me a physiological or, or a, a, a medical reason for that. Yeah. Psychologists and psychiatrists in this country have the highest suicide rate of any occupation. And I know why. I mean, can you imagine talking about the same thing for 15 years and opening cans of worms and not being able to do anything and seeing your clients suffering and, and, then, and then, you know, having it transfer onto you and going home with it? I can't even imagine that. I tried so many different healing techniques and some would help slightly maybe for a day or so. And then I'd go back downhill again. And I tried a lot of things. I tried a lot of therapies. I trained in a lot of things before. Uh, but I really, the way that Matrix work goes so deep and so quickly in changing the belief. It's hugely affected my life. When I met Carl, I was a single mum. I was recovering from PTSD. And I 
I really had never looked at why the same patterns had repeated in my life, why the same things kept showing up. I was just, I was sort of pretty unhappy with who I was. Had a, a, a sort of a growing sort of dis-ease going on and it really manifested in claustrophobia that was just getting worse and worse over the years. So I, I think I sort of got to the point where I thought, well, I am a claustrophobiac. You know, that was my definition of me. I fractured my ankle. And I just, I was about 21, 22. And uh, then I'd lived with the pain of that for about 20 odd years. And thought, well, I've got arthritis, that's just it. And I used to tell my story. So the and universe was showing me exact repeats. And it's not them. Unless you change you, it's not going to change. Imagine that. But some of my really most difficult cases where it was just unreal, um, I had my client stop and ask me, are you okay? <laughs> and I said, yeah, I'm actually just holding this space of gratitude for you because I'm watching all this energy just literally pour off your body. And I can see you, you know, coming up and, and it's actually, we're, we're achieving something. You know what I mean? That's a beautiful thing to me. I'm not stuck with my clients. They always end in a better place than when they came to me on every single session. It's exhilarating. And, and that's what I love about this. I, there's never a time that we sit down where they go away the same way that they came. I couldn't believe how much stuff I had been carrying with me. Um, so from my personal experience, it was absolutely life-changing anyway because I, I've managed to uncover all these things move forward in my life but not only that build up my practice and got like some intuition one day to um, train in emotional freedom technique and I could have trained locally where I live but my guidance was so strong and it guided me to Carl Dawson, um, which I'm very grateful that it did because not only is he an amazing trainer, but also he does matrix re-imprinting. And it's the matrix re-imprinting that has really changed all, all aspects of my life. When I came across Carl and in Brighton, and you know when he asks for the demonstration subjects, yes. and I remember sitting there thinking, oh, well, somebody's going to, you know, somebody's going to put their hand up. And unconsciously, I swear to God, <laughs> My hand just started rising, so and his quick-eyed vision just sort of got me up. Before I knew it, I was at the front of the, the thing doing this demo. That was it. She gave me the card. It was a Tuesday afternoon, and I had my first session on a Thursday. I had my second session the following week, and after my second session, I was getting up and brushing my teeth and having a shower, and I was doing things that seemed like just tasks that were mammoth to me. And I thought, God, you know, where, where is my PTSD and my depression going, you know? Two weeks after the training with Carl, I was stuck on a train. Um, so <laughs> it was like a setup, I swear, because it was a late night train. People were drunk. It was hot. There was an emergency in coach three. They wouldn't open the doors. I was sitting down, luckily, but I was in a full blown panic attack. I couldn't breathe. I thought I was going to die. I was cold sweating. And then I and was off all medication within maybe four or five weeks and then I just thought sod it I don't care what I look like I started tapping yeah. and in my mind it's going I'm gonna die I can't breathe I can't even do this and within less than a minute less than a minute maybe four rounds um I had a thought that I'd never had before in my life which was this is what normal people feel like the 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 phobia the response had just switched off I didn't. Anyway, so I started doing matrix or imprinting on it, see if I could get the pain down. And suddenly I was overwhelmed with fears of, well, with, with feelings of fear and guilt. Um, oh my goodness, it was quite overwhelming. I didn't realize how many feelings and emotions were trapped in that, in that injury. Um, I did about two or three sessions and now I have no pain at all. No pain at all. And that was, I was having about 90% pain. Every time I walked, I could definitely feel it was there. And, and it's cleared. Yeah, it's amazing. I didn't like it still, but I was just... And so the guy who was sitting next to me, who I'd never met, <laughs> turned to me and said, excuse me, but what were you doing? And I went, it's a miracle! It's a mi I was elated. I cannot describe the feeling. 
of that freedom. It was so liberating to work in the matrix and do and say what I didn't do and say at the time. And it gave me, oh gosh, you know, when I say power, I don't mean like power over another person, but I was able to reclaim myself. I was able to reclaim that person that I'd forgotten about. Wow. So I went in eyes wide open and had a go. And um, I ended up doing some matrix with that. And the two combined, brilliant result. My, my matrix re-imprinting journey has been incredible. It was, it's been absolutely pivotal um, in me healing post-traumatic stress disorder after the murder of my dad. That was the case. Um, and really came to discover that it was nothing to do with exhaustion and everything to do with what the underlying patterns were that was actually creating the physiological condition. So huge, huge, huge learning curve, huge awakening. It's really changed my life in every possible way. Um, and after much resistance from the practitioner telling me that I should train in it, I eventually went and trained with Carl Dawson in 2013 and I've never looked uh, back. Uncovering my core belief about not being helped or not being able to ask for help rather has just changed my energy and it means not only am I out there asking for help, I feel like people are offering help as well. I think it's that whole receiving as well. Things just are seeming to line up in my life and the path's really easy. So, yeah, so, I mean, I can talk about it now. I realise so much more. And in a way, that experience was a gift. Of in course. a strange old way, it was a gift. Mm -hmm. You know, it really led me to, to where I am now. It's led me to working with thousands of clients over the years. And you know? ultimately got injured and wasn't able to do my job anymore. Which I, I you know, mourned the loss of that career. But I'm, I'm doing something that helps people much more. I have listened, I've done the training, and my life's unrecognizable really now. It's on, it's on a path that I probably could never have guessed or predicted. To really seeing like how much I was filtering the world through trauma, how much that was my perception of reality. and. Uh, the beginning of the journey of really understanding deeply how we can rewire our brain and our physiology to not only to just get back to health, but then a further stage from that to create and manifest whatever it is we can imagine. So in a nutshell, like from disease to like amazing manifestation. Obviously. I've been an actress for 15 years and I thought that was the most exciting job you could do. And it just, it just, holds no candle to the work I do with Matrix and EFT. I just think it's the most incredible job. And it is, it is priceless when you see what this work does for people and the freedom from their pain, the freedom from what they believe they've been dealt with so they have to live with it. Uh, to me, the only, the only word I can describe is price. The tool, Carl, that you've created is phenomenal, not just for dealing with trauma, but really for helping people to realize their full potential, for really helping them to expand into the full potential and, and to see the places where they can grow into and to really grow, the, grow into that. So my message to you, Carl, is there is no way that I would be living in New York, running two companies with the love of my life, like living this fairy tale, like New York life, if it wasn't for Matrix. So you took a chance on me and that was the beginning of the best part of my life. So thank you every day. You're the best. <laughs> That's what I say.